Okay, this is the Echo CS400, and after you've done the uh, carb mod and removed the uh, limiters off the carb adjustment, get ready to do the exhaust mod. It's pretty simple. These, to remove the uh, exhaust, you just pull this out. And what you're going to want to do is open this up a little bit. So there's baffling through this whole thing. You can either drill through or you can split this case by taking a flathead screwdriver and prying it up there and you're going to pop this whole thing up all the way around and then pull these two pieces apart. When you go to put it back down you put the flathead screwdriver and bend it back in and press it all back together. If you look at this top cover, you can see it has a split in here. And what I'm going to do is remove this this split right here and take this whole piece off altogether. I'm going to use the Dremel to uh, just cut it out. Okay, and I just I just cut around that whole thing so that that second part is is removed, and so uh, the exhaust will flow just straight out. Now I'm not going to split the case because there's only I only want to take a little bit out of here. But I, what I do want to do is open up uh, this part of the port from the exhaust out because it, it's very restrictive from what's coming out. So I'm, I'm going to open this up, and then what I'm going to do is drill into this baffling um, to let it open straight out, uh, so it minimizes the amount of baffling it, it, it goes through. Okay, I just quickly spun the Dremel around, Dremel around and, and cut out that part, and now I'm just going to clean that up and just uh, get it all nice and smooth. Okay, so now I got that whole thing cut up and just cleaned up, and uh, next I'm going to open this exhaust port up a little more. Probably, I'm going to leave this last ridge line, but I'm going I'm to open this up right here. Okay, you can see that's opened up quite a bit um, from what it was. And I brought that f the larger exhaust port down to the uh, the first notch. I left this one, and I just opened this up. And so you're going to drill out right here, and connect it to where the exhaust goes out. So it's going to be kind of diagonal, straight through. So I just finished drilling, and I just put one. I don't know if you can see it again. I put one one hole at an angle straight through. To connect right out here, so the uh, the exhaust goes straight through now. I'm not going to widen it up too much because it's. I mean, this is obviously a two-stroke, and I don't want to take out all the baffling because I want a little bit of back pressure. But it, I got one like quarter-inch hole straight through uh, to the other side. I'm gonna do some tuning, and I'll show you how it runs. Okay, here it is back together, um, and I blew it out with an air compressor. Blew out all the debris and little shavings out. Um, blew it straight through and all around made sure there was nothing left in here so you can see um, the reason I wanted to leave that one cut on is it still looks relatively stock minus this one part removed but I kept I kept the screen on and whatnot just for aesthetics but I'll get it up and running and uh, exhaust is back on and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like when I when I don't adjust it yet I have a feeling it's going to either be hard to start or it's going to idle very weird. May that help. So you can hear what it... I mean, it, it sounds like crap, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the lows and highs and get it running. I got it tuned, so uh, let's see what we got. Uh, almost uh, one and a half full pull, pulls out on the uh, high. Little adjustment on the low. 